Hello Centernet, today I am going to do a voiceover on this video and tell you what it is like to stay in a hotel during the coronavirus or whatever it is that you want to call it now, pandemic, all the above. So if you're interested in what I have to say about it, stay tuned. to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to see all our videos when they are posted. So we decided to stay at a Holiday Inn because it was like the only place left to stay at in this town. And we'll have to look it up or it is later. It is actually in this video the address and all the above. For you to see in case you feel brave enough to stay here. This hotel was one of the most expensive hotels we stayed at in our week trip out of town and it was not clean whatsoever. The paper on that elevator right there says that you can only have one person in the elevator at a time not going to happen with us because there is four of us and we're all sleeping in the same room. So we all piled in, got to the um, second floor where the first room, yes, you heard that right, the first room that we uh, was given to stay in. So let's go down the hallway and see that room. So our first room was room 229. We went in like we always do in our one night stay at a hotel. We pack everything the night before from where we were and just bring up the necessities of what we need, our electronics, clothes to change into from sleeping to get up to go the next day. So we only stayed here one night. The bathroom was uh, decently clean. The hotel room itself, not at all clean. The window was open in this room, and I don't know why, like the curtain part was open. It was like the only thing that was like normal to a hotel stay. And you will see here in just a second why I say it was the only thing normal in this hotel room. Everything looked like it had been cleaned, put together, all that stuff. My husband left because of what I'm about to show you. So I figured while everyone was out of the room, I would show you like a tour of the room without everyone in it. When we got into the room, first thing I do is I open the closet just to check them out. The rest of them go off into the rest of the room. I deleted that part because it was dark and I will come back to that in a second. So here is the address, phone number, all that information. If you would like to bravely stay here. Here is reason number one that we did not stay in that room. That is blood on the cover. I know most people do not stay underneath that cover. And here's reason number two. Are we going to be like chilling in here and somebody else going to show up? I don't think it comes with a complimentary shirt, just saying. <laughs> and in the short time that it took my husband to go down to the office to tell them about the room being dirty, 
someone did try to come into that room that we were in. I don't know if it was just kids out playing in the hallway or what, but after finding someone's clothes in the hall in the closet, not my cup of tea. So we got given another room. So we're off to floor number four. And here we go down the hallway. Ice machines out of order. Coke machine. I don't believe that they go through and wipe all that down just because of that last room. Room number two. So here we are at room 401. Turning on some lights for you, showing everything. It's exactly set up the other way. The I'm glad it didn't rain. I don't know if water comes in in this bathroom, but the ceiling was jacked. Showing you everything. I always show you the bathroom, how the shower, you know, the shower head. So in case you're wondering what kind of shower it is, the information on the back of the door. Sometimes I show it. Sometimes I don't. And the closet. No complimentary clothes in there. The thing about this room. It was not clean, but it was close, I guess. When we pulled back the blankets to go to bed, we all ended up sleeping in our clothes and taking the rest of our clothes back to the car with us the next day and going home. But when we pulled back the covers, it was like someone brushed their hair out in our bed. So we just kind of kept our clothes on and just left from there the next day as soon as we all got up. And for some weird reason they had the curtains completely pulled shut in this room. I don't think I've ever seen a hotel like that. Usually they leave it open. But I don't, if I ever did go back to this town, I would never stay in this hotel again. And if I'm like dead tired, I will go to the next exit or whatever exit has hotels in it and try something else. This was a four star, I want to say, four and a half star hotel and I do not see it. I cannot remember if I even wiped down the remotes, but I've started doing that here recently is whenever we're staying in hotels to wipe the remotes down, wipe down surfaces and stuff because I just don't think that they're clean properly but this hotel, huh, it did not reach the cleanliness you would think a hotel would be having at this point in time. This book just gave some information about the town that we didn't even stay in long enough to enjoy. We came here, ate dinner, got a hotel room, and left the next day. So this now is your complimentary breakfast. They put you some food in a bag and send you on your way for the day. I don't know if every hotel does that, but this one does, and this is what's inside, a muffin, a bottle of water, and an apple. This is the view during the day. Nothing fun to look at, but like I said, we were only there for the night. We got up in the morning and we left. We were not impressed whatsoever with this hotel. I don't know who's to blame for that. I don't know. I don't really care. I just want to let you know that we will never stay there again. We went on the hunt to get some video for the pool, and I have no idea where the pool's at. The gym was closed, which is the first place 
this is the first hotel that had a gym that it was actually closed. So that's, I guess, cleanliness. The only thing I can figure is that the pool was outside them doors. I don't know because we had already gave up our key at this time and we were ready to hit the road and get on down this down the way to home because we were still pretty far from home because we are still in Alabama at this point. We don't live nowhere near Alabama, but couldn't find the pool. So me and my son went out to the outside of the pool because we knew where it was and just recorded from there. So from here on out, I'm going to let him take you on a little flight to show you what is around where you would be staying if you decided to choose this hotel. It's the Hampton Inn. I think I said it was something else. I possibly can in our videos some places does not allow this he is going to go and start getting his drone license whenever he is of age so I hope you enjoy that what are your plans before school starts back up are you going to send your kids to school are you going to keep them home and just homeschool them we don't know yet it's all a financial thing at this point so, I hope you enjoy this video. Like I always say, show me some love, like, comment, subscribe, become part of the crowd. Check that box below and see all the other places I am on the internet. We will catch you later.